y'all what's up it's Bianca back with another guitar tutorial for you today is the first video in my Christmas series rocking around the guitar strings Swift Miss Edition <laughs> anyways today we will be learning tis the damn season because it is the damn season to be jolly and for some Christmas heartbreak songs so that is what we'll be learning today. I hope y'all enjoy. First thing, you need your guitar in standard tuning with your capo on the third fret. There are six chords you need to know. One of them is a bar chord, but don't fret. I will show you an alternative way to play this chord. And it is one of the easier bar chords of the bunch, so I encourage you to try it. There are four chord progressions and one strumming pattern. So we will split this tutorial up into a few different sections. We'll go over the strumming pattern first, and then I will show you each chord progression and go over that with you as well, so you know each section of the song. But without further ado, let's get started with those six chords. So first up, we have G over B. We have A sus4. G major, A major, D major, and our dreaded bar chord, the B minor. Or you are more than welcome to play the open version of B minor. All right. So our strong pattern throughout the entire song is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So essentially it's just down, down, up, down, up, twice, and then followed by a down, down, up. So down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, eight, and. First chord progression of the song happens in the intro. It's G over B to A sus4 to G major to A sus4. So with our strumming pattern, it'll look like this. The verse, which I like to think is the easiest part of the entire song, because it only has two chords in it. It's G major to A major throughout the entire verse. So, with your strumming pattern, we'll play through it a few times. <laughs> easier than that. Now our chorus is where that dreaded bar chord comes in. Your chord progression is D major to B minor to A major to A sus4, but that second chorus where she does an extended part of the chorus is D major to B minor and you repeat that and then you do the A major to A sus4. Now your D major and the B minor actually do get repeated twice, so your Strumming pattern essentially gets played twice for those chords. So D major. Again. B minor. Again. A major. A sus All together it'll sound like this. For the first chorus, that's how you play it. For the second chorus, instead of going straight to the A major after the B minor, you repeat the D major and the B minor, and then you go to A major and A sus4. This will all make a lot more sense in the playthrough at the end, so make sure you watch that. 
The only other part to the song that you need to know is the bridge. Your chord progression is D major to B minor to A major to D major to B minor to A major to A sus4. That is the first part of the bridge. The second part goes back to your verse chord progression. Now those chords that I have stars next to, you play your strumming pattern twice. Okay? So it'll look like this. when you go back to your verse chord progression that first G major and the A major I like to single down strum it it's what she does in the song as well you don't have to do that if you just want to stick to the regular strumming pattern you're more than welcome to but I like to single down strum it there but that is everything you need to know to play Tis the Damn Season by Taylor Swift so let's go ahead and get started with the playthrough so you can play along with me and that way you know exactly where everything goes so you can sing this to an ex that you're really mad at because he's really bad for you. So let's go ahead and play through the entire song.
it. That's how you play Tis the Damn Season by Taylor Swift on guitar. I hope you all liked this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Tell your friends about my channel so they can learn some of their favorite songs as well. And let me know down in the comments below what other songs you would like to learn on guitar. Because my Christmas series is just getting started. Bye guys. See you next time.